I have a praise report. Yesterday, my son was fishing at a park with his friends, and I, I came to go visit him. And while I was there, there was a man who uh, invited me to come eat hamburgers and hot dogs over at this little party that was at a gazebo. And uh, I didn't think much about it, but I felt that tug in the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, where it was like, you should do this, you know. It was, it was not forceful, right? The Holy Spirit's never forceful. It's not commanding or demanding. Uh, his burden is light. His yoke is easy. And um, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. So he gave you the gift of free will. You get to choose whether you're obedient to when you feel those urges or you sense that urge to do something. And uh, anyway, I've, I've struggled with recognizing that myself in my life. And there's a lot of opportunities that I have missed uh, because I didn't obey that, you know. And I got under that uh, that fear, you know. Like... You know, just paying somebody a compliment, you know, you might at a moment you see somebody, you don't know them, but you feel like you want to pay them a compliment, but you don't because you're like, oh, well, I don't know them. And, you know, maybe they, they'll think it'll take it wrong or something. So anyway, that's just an example. Uh, so anyway, I obeyed that prompting and I went over there and I started introducing myself and had a couple of hot dogs and even embarrassed myself at one point <laughs> I was talking with the hot dogs in this plate and I got expressive with this hand and slapped the food out of out on the ground and I'm like ah I think I even said a a, a bad word crap if that's considered bad but anyway um uh, they they had a church that was here it's 33 miles from my house and I thought that was interesting um because also yesterday, I, I blessed somebody uh, who needed money. I gave them $33. And I looked up the biblical meaning of 33. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, there's a couple of YouTube videos out there. But it was talking about uh, 33, I believe, was... <clears throat> let me see if I can say it right. It's <laughs> had something to do with uh, like God fulfilling a promise, like a completion type thing. And also there was something to do, I don't know if it was, it had to do with Hebrew and numbers and 33 is amen, which is like also completion. It is so, it is done, it is finished, that sort of thing. Uh, so forgive me if I'm a little wrong on, <laughs> on some of those details, but um, I just thought that was very interesting how this church was 33 miles from my house and I didn't see how long it took me to get here, but uh, I came and everybody was very kind and it's a multicultural church i'm fine with that not a problem at all um and but everybody's heart posture that i've met so far is is seems very kind and very genuine and we're all humble you know it's like everybody here is what i'm encountering so far is there's humble people but we've all got you know our own issues our own hurts our own pains and uh Anyway, so I just thought it was interesting. It's a here I got a praise report here, and I was talking to a gentleman I just met, and um, I, I can't uh, remember <laughs> all the details of the conversation. But I said something that I know, I know that the Holy Spirit had to have been speaking through me at that moment. But um, he's like, "You got to write that down," and I don't even know exactly what I said. Um, so I'm going to try to retell it real quick. So. I was basically talking about how how fear, how evil evil is, right? You don't know how evil evil truly is until you become an enemy to evil. When you become an enemy to Satan, then you start to see how evil evil is and how Christians will be persecuted when they are trying their level best to follow the gospel no matter what when they are trying to filter life through the bible through the scripture and you'll start to see the enemy manifest in people around you and if you falter one way or another in the slightest bit they will come against you and and project lies on you and make accusations against you as if that was the truth that you, you had a, the wrong heart posture when you did that, or you, you committed a sin, you committed a crime, you did something wrong, uh, you, you must be evil, 
you know and it's like what that i wasn't even meaning good grief what is going on why am i being accused of something that i did not do that was not my heart posture that was not my mindset i was trying to be righteous uh, so anyway for those christians out there that have been persecuted um try not to be discouraged uh try to be forgiving um if you have to distance yourself so be it but i am praying for you and i want to you to pray for me as well so father god in heaven i thank you very much for this day i thank you for the gospel of jesus christ i thank you that you made a way for us father god and no matter what accusations come against us no matter what weapons are formed against us they shall not prosper in the name of jesus where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom god is faithful to us and god encourages us and god blesses us god has a hope and a future for us and we have to hold on to that no matter what the enemy tries to say, it's a lie. If the enemy try to, tries to discourage us, it is a lie. If the enemy tries to, to hold us down and to cause depression and anxiety, that is a lie from the enemy. We cannot believe those lies. So, Father God, I plead the blood of the Lamb over the viewer. I proclaim Psalms 91 protection and Psalms 112 blessings over them. That the Holy Spirit's ministry through them and their loved ones they will see each other healed, set free, delivered, protected, and prosperous in the name of Jesus. And I speak shalom and amen. God bless you. Uh, keep pushing forward. Don't give up on the ministry. Don't give up on the gospel. Try to hold a higher standard to yourself. And watch. God will honor you. He will bless you. He will protect you. Don't get under fear. Just start rejoicing. Just start praising and worshiping. Start consuming Christian content. Go where the Spirit feeds you, okay? Not where you're oppressed. Oppression is not of God. If you feel oppressed, you are not in the Spirit of the Lord. That could very well be the Holy Spirit in you telling you you need to withdraw from that. Talk. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Only God can lead you through whatever it is you're going through. Only the Holy Spirit can lead you. Keep knocking on God's door. Keep praying. Make Him the last thought of your day and the first thought of your day. Honor Him in everything you do. Give thanks. Give praises. Even when you don't feel it. When, when you're getting depressed and you're, you can find a moment to be alone, just start praising God. You know, you might even need to do it while you're in the company of others. I'm known to do that. I'll just randomly say, no way, Satan. And I might involve somebody around me to pray with me. Uh, but anyway, I'm just telling you, the enemy is evil. He wants to destroy the Jesus in you. He wants to destroy the Holy Spirit in you. He wants to destroy God who has a call on your life. Don't let him do it. God loves you. Take care. God bless.